The one word I would use to describe Dr. Pines is selfless. He is somebody who sees and seeks the future. Forward thinking, hard working. He brings tremendous energy to everything he's involved with, from his leadership as dean to a simple conversation. And I'm confident that bring that same energy to his role as the president of the University of Maryland. After 11 years serving the A. James Clark School of Engineering as Dean, Dr. Daryl J. Pines is stepping into a new role as 34th President of the University of Maryland. He understands that engineering creates the future. He understands the importance of people, of vision, of impact, and of recognition in making that happen. Dr. Pines remains focused on the future by investing in the University of Maryland's greatest asset, its students. Dr. Pines has a lot of trust in the students, was definitely present and engaging, was always very interested in challenging me and all the other students to do our best and not accept the easy way out. He had incredible faith in our students. He always knew that we had some of the best engineering students in the country. He always pushed them to think of themselves as winners. Dr. Pines loves competition and uses it to foster innovation. Throughout his tenure as Dean, Clark School students and teams consistently won prizes and shattered records, including the human-powered helicopter Gamera, a student design challenge that broke new ground in altitude and duration. Dr. Pines he was very interested in the Sikorsky Prize and effectively like pushed a lot of other groups to actually work on it. I eventually met the two Canadians that were the winners of it and they credited to Maryland for a huge amount of the motivation and actually a lot of the design work on how they were able to win the Sikorsky Prize. There is no question that he wants to win, but not at any cost. He wants others who support the general strategy to win as well. He's always fought for the Clark School, but he was also supporter of other schools on campus, and we saw that over and over again. As Dean, Dr. Pine's vision of excellence would transform not just engineering, but the entire Maryland campus. He was instrumental in securing a nearly $220 million investment from the A. James and Alice B. Clark Foundation that would benefit all of Maryland's students, faculty, and staff. But I believe his most major accomplishment that has had and will continue to have significant impact is the A. James and Alice B. Clark Foundation gift. The gift represented the largest gift of the University of Maryland and will continue to change the lives of faculty and students for many years to come. One of the supported initiatives is the Clark Challenge for the Maryland Promise a campus-wide matching program that doubles the donor's investment in students. Now, the Maryland Promise Scholarship is, is something that's um, designed to benefit all students from all schools. And I think Daryl's vision from the get-go was that in order to make College Park a special place for engineers, you had to make College Park a special place. Dr. Pines understands that making College Park home to a world-class engineering school means all hands on deck because diversity and excellence go hand in hand. There are many people that talk about diversity and very few who act on the subject. Dr. Pines has a very practical view on diversity. He recognizes that the best solution is not a monochrome solution, but one full of color and excitement. It is very clear from anyone who's ever spent any time with Dr. Pines that he really cares about diversity really cares about expanding the participation in engineering to audiences who might not have otherwise seen it. His efforts have led to significant increases in the percentage of women, African American, and Latino students in the Clark School of Engineering. But one of his major efforts was his co-leading on the campus-wide NSF Advanced Program Initiative, and that program was the recruitment, the retention, and the leadership opportunities that were offered to women faculty. Dr. Pines cares deeply about faculty, pushing them to the highest levels in their career aspirations. Dr. Pines has fostered an environment in the Clark School of Engineering where people really love and are excited about what they're doing. Dr. Pines knew what it took to be a leader in your field, and he would often challenge faculty to look inside themselves and search for the hardest problems they could find and address those problems. So the first time Dr. Pine talked to me, Lay, okay, you've done great research, but tell me this, how have your research helped create jobs in Maryland and beyond? I'm still working hard toward that vision, but that conversation really changed the way when I think about you know, what I want to do as a faculty within a clock school 
When COVID-19 first happened, he was challenging the engineering departments as to how they could play a role in actually helping society. So for example, he encouraged chemical engineering to help develop the hand sanitizer. He always, always looked for opportunities in which he could make something good out of something that appeared to the rest of us to be earth shattering. So now is when you want visionaries. Now you want people who have big ideas, big goals, and want to follow them up and not be scared by them. At the same time, you want somebody who can bring people along. Everybody has to be on the team. As Daryl takes on his role as the 34th president of the University of Maryland at College Park, the only piece of advice I can come up with is for him to simply be himself. I wouldn't deviate from that at all.